Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Black Operation One. No face cam today on this video. This is going to just be a slightly better video to the one I had originally released about a little, well, a bit of a hint guide, help guide, whatever. So this is basically on how to get easy, cheap, free, whatever you want to call it, uh, epic crafting components. Um, so there's a few things that you need to do, so we will go and check them out. So first of all, you need technical, technical ability attribute unlocked, well, leveled up to, you need to level up to, I think it's 50. 14, 14 or 15, because you need um, Grease Monkey, you need efficient upgrades, and you also need to tune up. Um, those are the three main ones you need for this to, this to work. Okay, so we've got Grease Monkey, efficient upgrades, and tune up in the technical ability. Now, once you are, have unlocked them, you will be able to. Go to your crafting, and then what you want to do is have um, the armadillo clothing mod or a crunch weapons mod. Okay, so these two are both common blueprints. All right, now to get the the weapon mod, you want to visit the weapon trader Wilson at, uh, I can't even find the bloody place now, where is it, here it's up here, so you want to visit Wilson, which is by your apartment, at uh, this uh, weapon shop here, and it's the clothing trader, which is, I think it's this one here, if I remember right, it's either this one here, or this one, no, actually, I actually think it's this one here, because, yeah, because it's one close, so you want to go to this clothing trader here, should be a little store, a uh, little guy in a wheelchair, bless him, um, you want to go there and he will sell you the clothing mod, okay, now once you've unlocked them, what you want to do is, so when you craft these, obviously these are cheaper for me, so if you want to actually gain bonuses out of that, make sure you're also going to do like, um, which one do so with the cost optimization reduces component cost of crafting by 30%, especially if you get level 2. Um, and there is another one, I'm not sure of it. But that's the main one you want for obviously um, to get cheaper crafting recipes. Um, I keep going to inventory, and I don't want to go into inventory, I want to go to crafting. So if you got that, uh, that ability as well, you'll be able to. So as you can see, like, the uncommon items is usually three, but it's only cost me one. And it's usually eight common items, components, um, which is usually eight, and I'm, I, you know, cost me five. So I can craft a load of these. So say we craft 10, or oh, actually before we do, better check our backpack and see if anything. So there's the two I just crafted, there's nothing else in here, okay? So you want to craft a good number of these, they are cheap, especially with those attributes and perks, so you can just craft a load of them. So we're going to craft a few of these, and we're going to do it on camera together because, you know, I don't want you to feel as though I'm cheating the system. Now, don't get me wrong, you can craft, you know, you can craft rare item components and epic item components and the same with legendary item components, but as you can see, like, with the epic item components, which is the ones we're working for, yeah, they're going to cost you six rare item components, and rare item components will cost you six uncommon, whereas in this way, it's only going to cost you one uncommon. You with me? Yeah? So, again, so you just craft load these, so this is the cheapest way and easiest way of getting basically free rare item, um, yeah, rare and epic um, item components. Okay, so we we'll craft some of them, and I'm going to do with the crunch as well, which is the weapon mod which you get from Wilson. Again, it's five and one. So craft a load of these as well. This is also good for your crafting. Um, your, your, your crafting, whatever, you know, what that, that bar up top there. I, I've got mines 
Mine's gone blank. I've had a brain fart. What name that's called? But your experience, your crafting experience, crafting level. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna craft a few of these. That should do. That should do. Okay, so again, like I said, you can craft all the item components, but they do cost you. So this one here, like legendary one, costs six um, epic items. I don't know how to get free legendary ones at the moment. I'm trying to work on that, but I know certainly how to get free epic items um, components. Okay, so now we've done that, go to the backpack, and there you go. There's all the ones we just crafted, and as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four epic components there, or mods, let's say, sorry. So, and as you can see, it gives you, you got, you get four common, you get three uncommon, you get three rare item components, you get three rare upgrade components, you get one epic item component and then you get three epic upgrade components so you get more than just crafting an epic item component um, and it's for cheap it seriously is for cheap now of course you can use this to upgrade your armor upgrade your weapons you know use the spells for that but if you were looking for the the epic item components and all that just 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 you know trash them just uh disassemble them Get those components. Yeah, it's a bit of a grind. Don't get me wrong; it is a little bit of a grind, but to me, it's worth it because now, with those components, you can go back to your crafting and you can craft up. I don't know. Say, for instance, you want to craft up. You know, there you go. A legend. Um, sorry, an epic baseball bat. You know, or you want to do, you know, an epic iron clothing or something. You know. And then once I find out the legendary ones, obviously, you know how to get legendary item components cheap I will do another video on that and then you can do legendary items but yeah and then you can you can also use these of course to upgrade you see so if I carry on obviously um, doing this for a bit I'll be able to uh, you know upgrade my pistol there yeah because I only need two of these and then I can upgrade it so it's got 544 DPS which is very high you know it's 130 to 159 damage per shot so yeah, so it's definitely worth doing, 100% worth doing, it's a lot easier than, a lot easier and cheaper than crafting up the components by themselves. Not only do you get the item components, but you also get the upgrade components, and it's a lot easier and cheaper and faster than going around and looting up every location you can, because you're not always guaranteed to get even a rare item. Um, you know, a lot of it is common or uncommon items you can get from obviously gangs and stuff. So, but yeah, so I thought I'd just update the video, make it a little bit more clearer. Now I, re you know, kind of have, I've worked it out and remembered where I've done things because the original video I've done of this was just a quick haphazard video because like I said, I was live streaming at the time. So yeah, so again, if you want the weapon mod, it's at Wilson's Weapon Shop here. If you want the item clover mod, it's at this item clothing. In both of these are ones in well, they are both in Watson. So, um, so yeah, well, I think it's that one actually. Or is it that one? Might be that one actually. What is? They're both in Watson, so it's got to be that one. So I'm, I'm wrong about that. But anyway, but check them out. Um, no, I'm sure it's that one. But anyway, check them both out. But it's one of those clue shops. I can't exactly remember which one it is. But the weapon mod is definitely that one. And like I said, for the uh, tributes and perks, you want technical ability tribute to, I think it's like 15, something like that, 15, 16, whatever it is. And you just want to concentrate on Grease Monkey, so it allows you to craft epic items, which is what we're getting, what we need, shall I say. Uh, you want that one so you can get, um, no, not that one, which one is it? Sorry, that one so you can craft cheaper items. Uh, you do need that one as well um, because it gives you a chance to be on to free so it saves you even more and tune up obviously so you're going to upgrade lower quality codes to the higher quality ones. Now I could do this without tune up. Tune up just helps it. Okay you don't need tune up it just helps it. All right um, but yeah so that's that video. I um, hope that explains it a little bit more and uh, yeah so enjoy all those uh, free epic item and upgrade components 
and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please smash that thumbs up button. And uh, I'm not asking any for you to subscribe or anything. I'm just asking you to smash that thumbs up button. That's all I'm asking. And just to, you know, show me you appreciate. And if you want to see more, you know, free guides, guides on how to do things, because I've got loads. You know, on the end of this video, check out the free, you know, a free Bugatti Vape, well, the Cyberpunk's version of Bugatti Vape one. The, um, check out the location for a free one of them. So, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Until next time, remember, have fun, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.